Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install uh, GMAP, DivMap, and uh, Segment Geospatial in uh, ArcGIS Pro. So, previously, I already uh, created a video showing you how to do that, but recently, ArcGIS Pro released uh, uh, 3.2. Some of the environment that uh, you created might not work anymore. Uh, there are some issues people report on GitHub about uh, Segment Geospatial. Uh, map leaf map that's not working anymore i'm going to re uh, uh, redo it in this video so you use step by step how to do that how to install packages segment geospatial so i'm going to use the segment geospatial uh, repository so you just uh google segment geospatial you should be able to find it uh, the link is also in the description below and up right here, you can click the link to take you to the segment geospatial website. And then under examples, this one ArcGIS. I just updated this notebook, updated instructions. If you follow this step by step, you should be able to uh, install the packages. And I'm going to show you here. I'm going to open ArcGIS Pro. Right now, if you go to settings, mine is uh, 3.2. Uh, make sure you update to the latest version. And once you're here, you can open package manager. Here, I'm going to show you right now. I only have the default one, ArcGIS Pro Python 3. Click the settings, have the one listed. If you have created other previous one that's not working anymore that you cannot activate, you can just right click here and then uh, delete. Of course, this is the default one. But you have other environments, feel free to delete them. And now we're going to start from scratch. Here, let me go back to the ArcGIS Pro interface. So next, I'm going to show you step by step how to do that. You can, I think for the for this one, it should have already been resolved. Uh, it's more like a TensorFlow, like long file pass issue. I think I can probably skip this one. And I'm going to go through these all the steps in here. The second one is to go to your start menu then all apps, then go to ArcGIS folder. Expand it and scroll down to find the Python man prompt. Open it. It should automatically activate the uh, ArcGIS Pro default Python environment. See the name here on the left side. Then the next step is to create new Conda environment. Oh, by the way, so don't do it like this. Go to package manager and then try to clone the environment. Uh, don't do that because uh, some of the packages. Uh, not going to be compatible the package you're going to install so don't clone the environment here we should create a fresh conda environment from here like i said uh, control c and then come back to the terminal so v paste enter what we're trying to do here is to create a new conda environment named geo and we're going to install the python environment from esri rather than from the official on the first channel because ArcGIS has a specific Python version, and also we are going to install Mamba from Conda Force channel. Mamba is so much faster because we are going to install Segment Geospatial. So, if you use just directly use Conda, it's going to be very slow, uh, it's not going to be able to tendency. That's why we're going to use Mamba so much faster. Once it's pop up, uh, just hit enter, then it should be able to create the Conda environment. Let's go up here to see packages. Well, actually, we're including, for example, Python here. This is one come from Esri 3.9.18. The other one is uh, Mamba here. So those are the two critical packages that we need for to uh, continue. And then once this uh, environment is created, then you can use uh, Conda Activate Geo. Conda Activate Geo. The left side, you should see it has been changed to Geo. So right now we are in this new Conda environment. And then the next step here, uh, like I said, this one is optional. Unless you, uh, you would, let's go to this one first. If it shows the error, then you have to fix it. So this one is actually the new error that I just encountered. Previously, it was working fine. Not so what, uh, what happened. So it was quite on uh, annoying. I took a while to actually Google and then eventually figure out uh, this one. Actually. Let's see if it works now. 
it will show you the error message if it doesn't work. If it doesn't work, then you go back, copy this line, paste it, and then you can run this one again. Uh, this is probably the very slow because we are trying to install deep learning geospatial, arc high, segment geospatial, and also high GS. High GS contains um, uh, GMAP, leaf map, and some other optional. This is probably hundreds of packages. Pretty slow, so it's going to uh, go to online to download all the packages and pick up the conflict. This is a little bit slow. Please basic, be patient, but it should work. Okay, so uh, once it's done, then we can see uh, all the packages being listed. Okay, see exactly. This is the error message that uh, you might get. I'm not quite sure. It might be a uh, specific. What I'm showing here is this error. Uh, SSL, peer, certificate, blah, 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 doesn't work. If that happens, copy this line. Down here, paste it. And so we don't use the SSL verify. Once it's done, then use your up arrow key to install mem uh, install the packages again. This time it should work. Take it, finish. And we ready to go. And this again. I take a minute or two. Once it's done, then we can actually activate the environment. So it depends on uh, you can either use this one or you can activate the environment within RGS Flow. Then you should be able to create a new notebook. I believe. It's running. Hopefully, it'll be done very well. And like I said, don't try to create a Conda environment with Python 3.11 and because some of the deep learning package might not be. Make sure that you use the same one that comes from Axis. Deep learning packages and also ArcPy and Arc. These two are actually come from the Esri channel, not from the first. Hopefully it will be done very soon. Let me pause the video and once it's done, I will back. All right, uh, it took almost uh, two minutes. So now you see, it was able to resolve all the dependencies. So we can see the whole list of packages here, including segment geospatial, leaf map, gmap. And you might also notice here, we are actually installing, I think, tensor for a GPU version because I have GPU computer yeah if you don't have gpu you most likely uh, gpu version and for gpu is quite big so you can see almost four uh, 565 packages four gigabytes so this is a huge package and just tap enter y enter I'm going to download all the packages and install it so this one might take a couple more minutes let me pause the video and i will come back when it's done Okay, finally, the installation is done. Uh, it took about five to six minutes. So you see, successfully, we have installed all the packages. And if you want, you can just type contact list to see the list of packages. So the installation is over. And if you want, you can activate the contact environment using uh, Pro Swap Geo, or uh, you can use ArcGIS Pro. So I'm going to go to ArcGIS Pro. Now, if you click this uh, settings, And if you want, now we can actually activate the contact environment. So just activate here. Oh, just fine. And it might take a couple of minutes because um, they are like over five, 600 packages. So it's going to take some time to load all the packages. Okay, so now it's done. And you're welcome to source the packages. For example, we can search GMAP. See, it's here. Just the uh, map. Or recommend geospatial yeah and now it's ready so we can test it out what you need to do just create a new map and i can this video enter so create a new map then you can create a new notebook this is okay it's done and go to insert new notebooks once it's open, you can start uh, in the coding. So like how you do app leave. 
I'm just going to quickly show you, make sure that supporting those libraries. Okay, so the first one, by import it map. You type I see. And Similarly, you can do leaf map. I type oh, the map. Then just uh, the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. So if this is the first time you're using that, you might need to authenticate uh, Google Sending, but you already have a credentials on computer. And similarly, you can do import same geo on it. Work. Okay, so if you want, you are welcome to, for example, download this notebook, then save to the directory, and then you can start running the tool. That's why, for example, I can copy here, back, then run this, this, enter. You see, it's so now you have access to um, ArcGIS, uh, G, uh, access to GMAP, Decamin Geospatial, and also uh, in. Let's go. Hopefully, this solved the issue. If you have any issues with patient, now this video work. If there's any update? If it's broken in the future. I will try to create a new video to update it. But uh, you can just come here, follow instruction. You can find the link in the video description. So, thank you. Uh, I will see you in the next video. Yeah. Bye bye.